Welcome to the 1 million gold challenge. In this series, I hope to reinvent the demon of the playstyle and make this class viable for people that don't have a lot of money. Rules are on the screen now. Hi guys, welcome to the GOM episode. I'm going to start by saying now, this boss is not possible with 1 million gold worth of gear unless I bought my gear differently. When we first came up with the idea for this series, we didn't count on GOM being super buffed and making him ridiculously hard. So, what this video is basically going to be is my best attempt at him solo, because duo is even harder, but this is my best attempt at him solo, and mathematically, I'm pretty sure he's unkillable. However, if you want to see how I kill it properly, with only swapping, I think I swapped 4 or 5 pieces of gear out, then skip to 4 minutes 30, and then you can get the general tactic of how to kill him with half decent gear. Every single time I kite him around the full room, by the time I got to like the entrance, he was at 61 million HP, whichever kind of skill build I tried to use. I think this is probably the most ideal skill build, however, if any of you have any kind of ideas of how this might be possible with this kind of gear, please do let me know, because I really do want to kill it with this gear. I think if I bought my items differently, this boss would have been killable, as I think with like 2000, maybe 2500 life on hit, and some decent all resistances, you can probably just tank him and get a lot of damage output just in clouds, however, I haven't tested this yet and it's purely theory. The thing is, I'm pretty sure it's impossible to do 84 million damage in 4 minutes with this gear, like, it just doesn't make sense mathematically. Um, even to do 20 million in a minute is pushing it a bit, I'm pretty sure, so, yeah. I'll talk a little bit about kind of the kiting. Using cow chops is amazing. <laughs> um, Red of Vengeance is actually a really underused skill. And I'd like to make note of it in this video because it will be used quite a lot in the next couple of videos after this. Um, it buys you 8 seconds of time where bosses don't do their kind of abilities, I guess. As you can see here, he's stunned. And for that 8 seconds, he's not going to make a slime pool or make 2 ads. This makes sort of kiting around the room a hell of a lot easier. And yes, before anyone mentions, I'm not using a follower in this video because it might give me that extra damage. However, I really, really don't think Scoundrel or Enchantress is going to give me 25% more damage. That's a bit you know, too much. But I don't think it's fair that I use an Enchantress or Scoundrel because I didn't budget for their items in my 1 million gold. So if I used an Enchantress with like a 1300 DPS staff or some bullshit. To kill this, I think it would be worse than putting this video up where I don't kill it, just because it's sort of... it's grey area. I'd also like to quickly note, it's actually harder to do with my proper gear, because the clouds hit me for like 15k on the first tick with my real gear. So um, when I do kill this in about a minute and a bit from now, you'll see I used a lot of my resistance gear, because honestly having 500 resistance to everything, even though I swapped a few pieces of gear out, it's actually a really big thing, and like, swapping my weapon out actually kind of made it harder, because look how much life on hit I'm getting per shot right now. Like, that adds up super quickly, and my old weapon doesn't have life on hit, so I actually really really noticed that in my kill the next time, as I thought... With this gear and this build, I could pretty much kite around the room every single time I did this fight for the full 4 minutes, hit the enrage timer, and then die because my DPS wasn't high enough to do anything about it. In my other set of gear, which I killed him in, in a little bit, um, I couldn't like do this every single time. I had to try maybe 5 or 6 times just to get him dead. And that was just some decent-ish gear, like it wasn't great. I thought that was quite interesting, because even with this gear, it's easier to kite, but you just lack too much damage for it to be possible. I think if this was before the patch without him rage, I would have killed it with this tactic 100%. So yeah, pretty much here, he just goes crazy, and there's nothing you can do to live, because look how many clouds are in the room. It's pretty ridiculous. So this is where I actually killed him, for those of you who have skipped to this point. This is how you kill it with the tactics I'm using. You want to move forward at the start to get maximum usage of the cloud, make him put a cloud awkwardly, and then do as much damage as you can. After that, it's pretty much a case of kiting around the room, and making clouds spawn on top of you, and moving out of them. 
Make sure you don't move too far or the clouds will spread out way too much and you won't be able to come. Use cow chops to keep everything kind of nicely in place I guess, so that it doesn't all fuck up and you can't move. Once there's a decent amount of ads on the screen, you want to spam ball lightning and clear them out. If they stack up too much, they might kill you because they do hit pretty hard. Use Rain of Vengeance every cooldown. You can do a lot of damage in this 8 seconds and it's pretty much what gets you the kill. Because he doesn't use clouds and he doesn't spawn ads for 8 seconds. That gives you a lot of room to fuck up and make him put clouds in bad spots, but it's okay because you have 8 seconds of free time. It's important to note also, you can tank things pretty okay with Shadow Power Up. And sometimes you will have to tank things, but if you use cow chops when both eyes spawn, they generally get stuck pretty easy. But if you get in a situation like now, you have to use Shadow Power to stay alive, because if he melee hits you, you're going to die. Also watch out for the cloud hitbox, as sometimes it hits you when I don't think I'm stood in it. This was a bit of a bad spot because I was waiting for kind of clouds to disappear and just trying to maximise the damage. I think it's pretty important to do this every so often once you have a decent amount of discipline because you buy a lot of space in the room which is ultimately what this fight is all about. Here I fucked up a little bit but Rain of Vengeance kind of saved me because I bought 8 seconds of time which is honestly a really really big deal on this boss because 8 seconds of time every 30 seconds like I'm pretty sure the whole room would be just full of clouds if I didn't use Rain of Vengeance. This is a big tip I think. And again I just want to say I'm sorry for not being able to kill this boss with my real 1 million gold gear because it's just not possible. As you can see here this is with some a lot better damage and it's still going to take me like two and a half I think minutes to kill it. But hopefully some of you took something from this and now can kill Gom with half decent gear. There's a quick last note kind of thing. Sidia and Asmadan and Siege Breaker were all done with the 1 million gold gear and I didn't change anything at all. So this was the gear I changed around. I only swapped a necklace, a ring, gloves and quiver and a weapon. Which isn't that much of a deal but honestly it's mostly the weapon because 700 DPS is simply too low mathematically to kill this guy. If you enjoyed this video please subscribe to keep up with the series.